Will adding more honey or sugar during the second fermentation helps to create fizz in the kombucha? The answer is a resounding yes, but there's a right way and a potentially messy and dangerous way to do it. In the sealed environment of your kombucha bottle, the yeast is still active when you add a fermentable sugar like table sugar, fruit or honey. The yeast consumes it and produces carbon dioxide with nowhere to go that CO2 carbonates your brew. So how much sugar or honey should you add? For a standard 16 ounce bottle, I recommend starting with just half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of sugar or honey. Raw honey is fantastic for adding flavor along with the sugar. Now, here is the most critical part. Too much sugar creates too much pressure. This can turn your kombucha bottle into a glass grenade. To prevent this, always use pressure rated bottles. When trying a new sugar amount, always burp your bottles daily. Burping your bottles will allow excess gas to escape and avoid a bottle explosion. Once you achieve the desired carbonation, refrigerate your kombucha to slow the fermentation right down. So, adding sugar or honey is exactly how you build fizz, but always remember to do it carefully. If you have any question, leave them in the comments below. I will answer every question. Well, I hope to see you around for more kombucha home brewing tips, tricks and best practices to brew safely.